Yo, what is going on guys? Logic here and I just wanted to do a 2023 uh, channel update. I know it's it's cringe uh, channel update videos, who, who cares, right? But I feel like this one is uh, really important. Um, I've been sitting about this, I've been thinking about this and this is something I seriously want to do. Like this is like I'm I'm so hyped about this. I'm kind of nervous just to to start, but I wanted to put this video out there because this is a very big footprint and what's about to happen and what's about to start. So first really big thing is just like the, uh, basically the ending, the, the ending to a story. Uh, Ninjala content, I probably won't cover Ninjala anymore. Um, I think we had our good times. We had great times, we had fantastic times, uh, but I think it's time for that whole whatever to just come to a close. And it's not that, like that, I I'm very thankful for just like everyone that met me or knows about me from Ninjala, but I just don't see myself playing the game as much as I used to anymore. And uh, I wanna do something else <laughs> is like the big the big thing. And uh, I this like, this is my dilemma about like Ninjala or any game that I singularly uh, make content. So the, the big thing is I don't want to be tied down to one game, right? I want to be able to play multiple games and make content like on multiple games. Um, but it's really hard to play all other games when you have to consistently like make videos on this one game, helping people and figuring new tech out. And, just all this stuff. It's hard to help people without playing the game a, a bunch, you know? So you you literally, like, it's your duty to kind of just play the game at like almost all times. Um, and even me like playing like, you know, like I think I was playing like 10, 15 hours a day and I was still missing out on a bunch and you know, like not discovering everything that I needed to do. I don't want to monologue here because I can get, I can get caught up talking about this for like 10 minutes, but essentially what I want to do going forward with the channel is not um, making content on a single game, but I want to cover like gaming news and what's happening in the gaming industry and like what's what what is Ubisoft uh, next move? What is uh, like Activision doing with the next Call of Duty? Or like why is there like NFTs or microtransactions? Like just like gaming news, like in um, like what's going on in like the gaming industry and stuff like that. I want to start covering like articles like that or like it doesn't even have to be like negative stuff like that. Those are just examples. That's all it is examples. So don't take it as like like seriously what we'll be covering. But it's something I've been thinking about like literally all of 22 uh, 2022. Uh, I was thinking about this like what can I do? Like I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to be like uh, in this one like shell where I can only make uh, content on the one game that I like. Um, I just want to be able to cover like a little bit of everything. Um, and I think moving forward, this is like a really uh, a really good route to go is, you know, let's see what's going on in the in the gaming news world. Like what's happening in the PlayStation? Why is Xbox trying to buy Activision and you know, nobody wants to push it through or approve it, right? Stuff like that. I personally find stuff like that like really interesting. And I already talk about things like that in my uh, gamer group already with my discord friends so like to just make videos on it would be like easy because i'm already seeing this stuff so that is what i want to do in terms of content for 2023 and that's basically my blueprint for 2023 i've been thinking about this for a long while um, I've been waiting for the opportunity to come back to YouTube and make content again because, you know, when I first started doing Ninjala like content or just videos in general, I didn't really think much of it. I was just uploading videos and I was like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe it'll, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> I was just uploading them. And uh, I never expected for people to be like, hey, this actually helped or like, hey, this is really cool. You know, uh, I didn't know about this, stuff like that. You know, like the overall reception of a lot of those videos was like very positive. Uh, and it's like, it's very cool to see that something that I personally might not think might help people or, you know, was like a whatever little project that I was doing go such a long way. Even if it was in a minuscule like community, it went a long way. Uh, so now I'm trying to 
extend my reach into kind of like a broader area and just gaming news in general. And, you know, I might not have like the best editorial like skills when it comes to videos, but I think I'm, I think I'm okay. So um, I am very excited to start uh, doing this. And this video for me was just like a blueprint for 2023. I want to push this video out just so I get my foot out there. Like I just want to, I just want it out there. So that way I can give myself like, you know, like some motivation, like, Hey, you know, you can do this. You made this now is the time to start. And one of the big things about this is that I have the tech now to, to do all this stuff, to make videos like really quickly, to edit them out, uh, to just kind of put things in motion, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> to put things in motion, like we have the tech uh, now. And I think that goes such a long way. Obviously, um, you know, if you love something, it doesn't matter what type of, you know, laptop or whatever you're using. But once you get like tools, the utensils that you need to make these videos and kind of render them out in a fashion that's like very quick, it can make that process a lot easier. When I was making Ninjala uh, videos, it literally took me, like uh, I would finish a video like around like 11, uh, 12, uh, like 11 p.m. going into 12 a.m. I would finish videos around that time, but then I had to edit them up and then uh, render them out. That part would take like three, four hours. So I would stay up, you know, until this video was done rendering and then I would upload it. And that's not counting like, you know, tagging and description and like the thumbnail editing process. Like all that was like getting done while I was like rendering the video. And it just, oh, man. It was a process. It's it's not easy. It's like, and then, you know, I'm doing all that myself. A lot of people have like teams and stuff, but it, it's a process. But if you can downsize the time it takes, like if it's only taking like five minutes to render out a video, you can take that, that time now and just kind of fit like thumbnails and descriptions and like a bunch of other things into that mix to make things easier. So that is that is one of the reasons I'm like so excited about like just starting this back up again, starting this engine up again, is that now I have the tech in order to make this process easier. So you've heard what I want to do for my content of 2023. But now I need to tell you what I want to do to the channel. So the big reason I wanted to release this video is because there's going to be a lot of rebranding. I myself, I still want to go or go by as uh, Logic Motion. I want people to know me as Logic Motion. I think the name's sick, but I don't want the channel name to be Logic Motion anymore. I wanna have like a, a broader range, right? Like just in case uh, in the future, if I wanna bring a friend on or bring somebody on that also like uh, wants to do videos on the channel, I can do that or they can make their solo video on the channel. Uh, I'm not saying that's gonna happen in the next year. <laughs> I have no idea. It's it's something to definitely think about. Uh, and I might be planning for like like super future or whatever, or you know maybe not even, but I just wanna have that flexibility. Um, so going forward, I am gonna be changing the name of the channel to Game Fogo. Um, I've been thinking about this name for such a long time. And honestly, I I, I like this one. And it, it took me a while to be like, you know what, this is okay. I've asked multiple people and you know, they seem to like it too. And I, I think it's just, I'm just gonna throw it out there. We're gonna see who catches on to it. We're just gonna throw the football. <laughs> so it's kind of catchy, it's cool. And uh, I honestly, I can't wait. So uh, that's gonna be a big thing moving forward is rebranding. As far as um, my other like social links is or whatever, I'm still gonna get, like keep my Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, I might make a new Twitter for the channel. I'm not too sure yet. Um, I have no intention of uh, making a Discord for this channel. Uh, it's going to be the same channel, and I, I might still keep my personal Discord around. But my um, my views on Discord has changed uh, dramatically. Before making these videos, I, I really thought it was uh, it was super cool to like you know manage a community and stuff like that, and like have like your your fans and your like uh, Discord or whatever and all that. I thought that was cool. And I've met some like really cool people. Don't get me wrong, I met some really cool people from like Discord. But I think going forward, I I just don't care for it. I, I don't care for managing a Discord. I don't care for keeping up with it. 
I think I just, like, I honestly think it takes away time from like editing it because you just get distracted or whatever. So I think with this new channel, there won't be a Discord or whatever. I'm still debating on deleting my personal Discord. I haven't, I don't know for sure yet. There's a lot of people that are still in there that still talk and use it every day. But I've, I've had like these dark thoughts where I'm just like, I just want to delete the Discord. <laughs> just out of nowhere, just delete. But uh, I, I probably won't go that route. But I, with this new channel, I really don't want a Discord. I do want to do things like Twitter and like maybe like a Facebook page or like Instagram. Stuff like that is fine. But as far as like hosting my own uh, Discord for that channel, I have, I have no intentions on doing that. But that's just how I feel now. It could change in the future. I doubt it. I, I honestly think that settles it. That's everything I wanted to uh, cover. I have little notes here in front of me. But I wanted to do a proper farewell to Ninjala. I think Ninjala helped me a bunch to figure out just like the YouTube system. Uh, it helped me break out of my shell. And just going forward, I really just don't want to do any more content on it uh, just because like, it, like I just don't play it anymore and the game's not like what I want it to be anymore. And that's fine. Sometimes you just grow out of things. Uh, I wish the game nothing but good things. They helped me. We had a great partnership, but I, I I just don't want to make content on it anymore. So this is just, if if you want to know what happened to Logic and Ninjala, tell them to watch this video. But um, going forward for the channel of 2023 at least, I really just want to focus on gaming news, gaming uh, industry news, like what's going on with this company or what's going on with that company or this game coming out or, you know, even game of the year stuff. Like these events, like, you know, E3, I know E3 is been like whatever for the past like two three years but like i just want to cover that that's what i want to do with the channel and there's a lot there's so many interesting stories like that go around in the gaming news like industry and uh a lot of them don't get talked about so i'm really pumped up to make these videos and kind of like put some eyeballs on like uh what's going on so um i can't wait i'm super excited and i hope you guys are i know a lot of people here are with me because they saw like the Ninjala content. I hope you can kind of look past this and you know, we can just like grow together. <laughs> like this, this is awesome. But this is my YouTube 2023 like blueprint. This is what I want to do. I know for a fact this is what I want to do. And this is my stepping stone into that space. Uh, I wanted to put this video out here just so I could kind of force myself to be consistent, force myself to make these videos. Um, this is, like I said, this is a stepping stone. And I hope those of you that watch me for my Ninjala content can come along for the ride too and just see how it is. There's so many interesting stories going on with Nintendo and PlayStation and the Hexbox. Like there's all this cool stuff going on. Uh, always developing every single day. So I like I think this content is relevant to anybody that plays games in general. So I hope you guys can stick it out. With that being said, I, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. There's not much else. Um, like I said, this is my 2023 blueprint for YouTube. Thank you guys for being awesome. I hope we can um, just have like a partnership going on with this uh it would be just like really cool i don't know when this video is going to drop but it will drop and literally directly after i drop this video is when things will start changing because i want to drop this video as logic motion and not as game fogo so <laughs> i need to stop talking but thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being here um and i will see you guys in the next chapter take care love you